And now at six, some staggering numbers when it comes to children being killed by guns. Firearms are the number two cause of death in youth, claiming the lives of more than 3,000 children and teens in 2016. That's about eight children a day. Another big killer among children and teens, suicide. It is now the fourth leading cause of death, and a recent federal youth risk behavior survey found 17% of Charlotte high schoolers seriously considered suicide. The numbers are even higher for middle schoolers at 23%. NBC Charlotte's Tanya Mendes is live at six, digging into these alarming new numbers. Tanya. So Fred, there is a bit of good news, and that is that the mental health experts that we spoke to said that finally this topic is not taboo anymore. We're talking about it, and that could be critical to saving our children's lives. When guns get in the hands of our children, they can trigger a deadly outcome. A new study shows guns are the second leading cause of death for children and teenagers. And it's not just kids killing each other. They're taking their own lives as well. 35% of the gun deaths are suicides. Suicide is in the top three causes of death, death for young people. Dr. Rodney Villanueva is a psychiatrist at Atrium Health who works with kids at risk of harming themselves. Take it seriously. Anytime anyone tells you that they're thinking about killing themselves, take it seriously. Because the study also found firearm deaths are everyone's problem. Teens in urban areas are twice as likely to die in homicides as rural teens, but rural teens are twice as likely to die by suicide. And we should be looking at ways that we can help people that have thoughts of suicide, identify people that may be in need of help, and learning what resources they can utilize to get the help that they need. One resource right in a CMS school. The district recently reported 17% of high schoolers had seriously considered suicide. They have a program where students, you can talk to me about anything, I will never judge you, and teachers, it's okay to struggle, everybody struggles, are a source of strength for kids in crisis. Your momentary problem is not worth like a final solution. So and actually the only thing more dangerous for our children is that car ride home. Car crashes remain the single number one cause of death for children and teenagers. Reporting live, I'm Tanya Mendes, NBC Charlotte. It's staggering and they're so preventable too, these causes of death. Tanya, thank you.